six. Iowa playing host to the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Could be a night game. We don't know yet. Uh, no time. That's one of the few games that has not been set as far as time yet. So could see uh, Floyd being played for under the lights for, I think, the third straight year. I'd have to look back. Um, I know last year was, a, I believe, a Friday game up in Minneapolis. And the year before that, I know at least ended at night. I think it started in the afternoon. But that game will be important. I don't know what to make of Minnesota. I still think Minnesota is going to take a step back. Uh, they lose Rashad Bateman. Um, their running game with Ibrahim, is, I mean, it was terrific last year. I think the running game, is they're going to have to really rely on it this year. Um, Tanner Morgan was subpar, I thought, last year. A lot of hype around him and that, that team last year. And, and again, some of these results from last year are hard to really rate and uh, kind of react to because of COVID-19. So uh, there could be teams taking a total... A reversal from what we saw last year, and I could see the Gophers doing that, but I don't have a whole lot of faith in Minnesota, but I still say that's my sixth most, Iowa's sixth most important game on the 2020 schedule. Number five, Iowa-Purdue. This was kind of a toss-up with the Minnesota game because Purdue's in, in a very similar spot to Minnesota. I think P.J. Fleck and Brom could both be in trouble. Brom more so, uh, given his struggles the last couple of seasons, and you lose Rondell Moore. Um, Purdue's got to win this year, so there's going to be some desperation here. Um, I would not be surprised to see Purdue turn it around this year. I have more faith in them than I do Minnesota. That's why I rank this game of higher importance for Iowa. The good news is Iowa gets Minnesota and Purdue at home. Those have always been tricky road games to go up to Minneapolis and out to uh, West Lafayette, so Iowa will get them at home October 16th in the afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Fourth most important game. And this one could be sort of controversial as well, uh, as well. Iowa playing host to the Penn State Nittany Lions. I know it's an East Division game. But it's really the first major, big, first major Big Ten game after the non-conference slate. I know they go to Maryland, but that's a game Iowa should win. This is going to be a showdown. What will Penn State look like last year, or this year? They struggled last year. Iowa finally got a win against the Nittany Lions. And so I think more so this ranking stems from uh, Iowa's historic struggles against Penn State. Even though they won there last year, now they get them at home. I, I just feel like this could be a huge momentum game for Iowa. Um, if you lose, you know, you, you maybe already dropped a game or two already because you played Indiana-Iowa State. But boy, you win this game and launch into the West games. Remember, this is the last crossover game for Iowa on the schedule. This will launch them into games against Purdue, Wisconsin, Northwestern, Illinois, and Nebraska. So this is, again, could be a night game. We don't have a time yet for this one. October 9th, they'll get a long prep week after that Friday night showdown against the Terrapins. So that is our fourth most important game of Iowa's 2020 schedule. And that brings us to number three, another crossover. So we're kind of kind of going with a... Uh, we're kind of going out of limb on these last two, but the first game of the season, Indiana, and, and let me explain why. Indiana, of course, we know terrific season last year. Tom Allen, uh, just, I mean, if he if he, if he can maintain um, and sustain the level of play that the Hoosiers have been able to produce, at least into last year, into this year, which will be a regular year against competition where everybody's on an even scale. I think most teams were, but again, Things were so crazy last year and disheveled. Um, that game's huge. A big part of this uh, ranking for me is, again, not only the fact that Indiana um, has so much hype around them. It is a Big Ten game. I know it's a crossover game. It is a Big Ten game, so it has a direct correlation to Iowa's standings in the West. But it's also the first game of the season. You lose this game, you're, you're, the odds are stacked against you week two against Iowa State, and the last thing you want to do is go 0-2. So uh, I, I kind of have a hard time looking back at my rankings seeing that I placed Iowa State so low of importance. But I'm kind of throwing all my marbles at Indiana because they've got to win that first game at Kinnick. It's at home. And again, if we look back at last season, Spencer Petra struggled mightily against Purdue week one, struggled even more week two against Northwestern. Got things going late in the season, but if Iowa's going to have the type of season they could have had last year had they gotten off to a quicker start, 
Spencer Petras has to play well, and he has to play well early, and that starts week one. A Big Ten game. You wish that Iowa had a Kent State or a Colorado State week one. They will not get either of those teams. They'll get the Hoosiers week one, September 4th at 2.30 p.m. Central time. And that brings us to the second most important game of the season. And I think oftentimes Iowa fans and Big Ten fans in general overlook Pat Fitzgerald and the Northwestern Wildcats. I am not going to do that. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Iowa blew a 17-0 lead last year, so a bit of a revenge game here. But we know how Iowa has struggled historically. Kirk Ferentz has not done a... As far as his record, I don't have that in front of me either, but uh, not a great record against uh, Patty Fitz. Uh, and so uh, we don't know if this will be a, a, a night game. I'm sure it won't. But my guess is it won't be. It is one of those games that has an open time slot right now. These games usually end up being 11 a.m., uh, which seems to always play in the favor of Northwestern. But uh, Northwestern, Wisconsin, Iowa, I think, are, are the top three contenders in the West. I don't think there's much debate on that. And then you have uh, probably Purdue, Minnesota, um, you know, and then I think after that you have Illinois um, and Nebraska. Am I missing somebody in there? Uh, I don't believe I am. So, uh, yeah, that game against Northwestern will have huge implications, and it's in November. Uh, it seems like the West is going to be... It, it seems like the West will all, will always be won over the course of a couple of weeks. Um, and I think that's the case this year as well, which brings us to our number one most important game this season. October 30th at Wisconsin. I think I've probably rated this my number one most important game uh, just about every year over the past decade. Um... Iowa got the better hand last year against the Badgers. If Graham Mertz can take that next step forward, boy, he looked terrific. We know week one against Illinois and really never looked like that again the rest of the season, but he's a five-star quarterback, at least as far as recruiting rankings. Those don't mean much, though, when you get to Big Ten. If he can take the step forward, I, I have full confidence, uh, even though Barry Alvarez is no longer Wisconsin's athletic director, uh, I think his hand... We'll still be in some some dealings up there in Madison. I would not be surprised to just continue to see Barry uh, with a major influence, as we've seen throughout many different coaching staffs over the course of the, of the years up in Madison. So I think the Badgers will figure out the running attack. Kind of took a step back last year after losing Jonathan Taylor, but uh, that's going to be a, a a showdown, and it is an 11 a.m. game in Wisconsin. Um, so you know. Iowa hasn't had a whole lot of success in, in late afternoon and evening games against Wisconsin, although last year I think, well, I don't remember if that was a night game or, a, or an afternoon game, but um, I think 11 a.m. Is, is, is okay when you're on the road. Um, they're, they're not traveling far, so um, certainly an opportunity, and it will be coming off a bye week. They'll get Purdue, and then they'll get a bye week, and then they'll get Wisconsin Northwestern. Though Those two weeks are so, so important if Iowa wants to have any chance in the West. Of course, we'll talk more about Iowa's chances in the West. So, to recap, our most important games of the season, our least important, Iowa State coming in at number 12. At number 11, Colorado State. Number 10, Kent State. Number 9, Illinois. Number 8, Maryland. Number 7, Nebraska. Number 6, Minnesota. Number 5, Purdue. Number 4, Penn State. Number 3, Indiana. Number 2, Northwestern. And number 1, the Wisconsin Badgers.